Hello everybody, my name's Rob and I've got a Photoshop tutorial. Um, today I'm using CS5 Extended and we're going to be looking at uh, making quite complex selections and maybe putting them on um, a different background um, and we're going to be using the Refine Edge tool and the Quick Selection tool. So uh, let's make a start. Uh, so first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the quick selection tool over here on the left hand side if you can't see it um, then check that uh, the magic one's not selected so first click on uh, quick selection tool and what we're going to do we're just going to drag around the inside of this dog so called dog this dog is actually my father-in-law's uh, dog but I don't even think it is a dog I think it's like a guinea pig in a costume or something like that but anyway um, so I'm just clicking and dragging um, and the main thing for me when you're trying to make complex selections especially with a selection like this where there's lots of stray hairs um, is to try and ignore all the very outside where you get in the stray hairs just almost completely ignore them and just select the main body of the image so in this case the background it's got different colors in the background uh, so I'm just trying to select a very rough selection but inside just inside the main body of uh, this image. I'm just gonna bring that in a bit there. I'm just gonna bring this down in here. I'm just holding down Alt or Option now to uh, take away some of the selection. I'm just clicking and dragging. I'm just gonna click around the outside of this ear and see all these stray hairs here I'm just going to completely ignore I just want the main area and it's deselected that ear for me this is how rough it's going to be rough <laughs> it's a dog yeah rough okay I'm just going to click on this ear to bring the selection out here okay so somewhere there so it didn't take very long just gonna bring that up a bit there took a minute or so a couple of minutes and there we go we have a selection so now I'm just gonna click on the refine edge icon at the top and as you can see at the moment I've got it on the black and white viewing mode the viewing mode you can scroll through over here uh, marching ants for your selection the overlay on black if you're going to use a dark background uh, on white for the opposite but I just want to show you on the black and white for this example and I'll show you what I mean by the good technology in uh, the Refine Edge uh, in CS5 now uh, on the Refine Edge dialog box you have this box here to the left of the edge detection and if you click uh, it brings up these two brushes and I'm just going to click on the refine radius tool I'm not going to adjust the smart radius yet or this radius here and so all I'm going to do is I'm just going to click and paint like you would with any other picture or a mask and when I let go of the mouse it's detecting all the outside edges of the fur and of the stray hairs I'm not really sure how it's doing it but I'm just enjoying it it's saving me so much time just gonna click and drag and paint underneath this ear because there was lots of stray hairs and this is very very quickly I am not don't know where the hairs are at the moment I'm just guessing so I'm just painting around the outside and look look at it the technology is pretty awesome really a 
again I'm just painting around this ear I'm just completely guessing where the uh, hair is going to be I'm just painting away I don't know where it is and look look at the selection it's made very very quickly uh, to do this normally you would have had to have channels or I don't know what it would have taken taken forever so with that selection made I'm going to go back to the dialog box I'm going to click on smart radius now and I'm going to put the radius up to about 10 pixels um, I'm not going to adjust anything else apart from I'm going to click on decontaminate colors put it to about 80 percent somewhere there and I'm going to output to a new layer with layer mask you've got the options for a new layer new document etc I'm going to click on new layer with layer mask and click OK and it's thinking a bit at the moment and there we go it's putting the selection I made on a, a new layer but it's transparent and as you can see the selection is pretty amazing um, and it didn't take me that long at all really and I'm just gonna put this on another background if I turn the background on look at that I mean don't worry too much about the composition but the selection I mean look at it it took a few very short minutes so have fun with the refinish tool and remember that when you're making the selection try not to worry too much about the stray hairs on this example I didn't worry too much I just wanted to select the main body of the image I wanted to select and then I let the refine edge tool do its work so thanks for watching leave any comments or questions and uh, I'll try and get back to you thanks for watching my name's Rob take care see you next time